We've been talking in the last couple of videos about how to solve percent problems. In the first one I talked about the equation method. You translate these, these percent situations into an equation. Or you can use the percent proportion, which is the proportion method. And now it's time for a self quiz. I'm going to give you a few problems to try. Grab a piece of paper and hit pause and uh, try them first on your paper. And you should have a calculator ready. And then I'll uh, go over them real quickly with you and show you the two methods you could use. All right, let's get started. Here we go. These first two, four problems are um, various types, and I want you to use, use the equation method or the proportion method. Go ahead. To write an equation from each of these, um, what you do is you remember that is is the equal sign and of is the multiplication sign. So we just translate it that way in all of these cases. All right. Also, you remember that the percent number, if given, needs to be changed into a decimal. So that's why 320% is 3.2, 25% is 0.25, and so on. So here we have of, and here we have is, and it's the same way every time you want to write an equation out of it. All right, in these cases, the percent is missing, so you have x. All right, now, <clears throat> to solve these, it depends on what kind of equation it is. Here, you're going to divide by the 3.2 on both sides, and that will give you your answer. Here, same thing, but you're going to divide each side by 0.25. Here, on both of these, you're going to divide by the 71 number here because you want to get x by itself. And here you're going to divide both sides by 149. All right, again, it depends what kind of equation you have. So let's take a look at those four first four answers. Number one, 47.4. Number two is 112. Number three is asking for a percent, so it's 42.3. And number four is 33.2%. All right, let's try two more. Uh, click on the pause and good luck. And number five, it's going to be x times 87 equals 69.9. And now you have to divide by 87 on both sides. And that will give you your answer. In number six, what is that means x equals and all you're going to do is multiply those two together and that will give you your answer let's take a look number five eighty point three percent and number six one eighty two point four all right now let's back up and i want to show you the proportion method for each of these all right the percent proportion is always the percent number over a hundred equals is over of or part over whole so if we consistently use that structure, here's what it looks like. Number one, they mentioned 320%, so it's 320 over 100. And on the other side here, the is number is 158, or 151.8. Notice how it's close to the word is. And then the of is unknown, so 151.8 over x. Now we're going to cross multiply, which gives us actually the same equation you would see in the blue here and then we would solve and get the same answer number two you're gonna get 25 over 100 because it's 25 percent equals 28 over X the of is unknown so the X goes on the bottom is over of for these two numbers three and four you have unknown percent what percent so it's X over 100 and 71 is of so that goes on the bottom 30 out of 71 Number four, what percent? Again, it's unknown. X over 100. Of 149, so 149 goes on the bottom. Is 49.5? 49.5 goes on the top. You would cross multiply, end up with an equation similar to this in the blue, and you would solve to get the very same answer. The last two problems, what percent? That would be X over 100. Of 87 and is 69.9, so the other ratio would look like that is over of. 
Number six, 240 percent is 240 over 100. Uh, what is, that means your is number is unknown, that's the x, and of 76, 76 goes on the bottom. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our answers. Same answers as before, but I'll just give you another peek at them here. One, two, three, and four look like that. And five and six, again, were those answers there. All right, equation method or proportion method. I have students tell me the proportion method is easier. Once they remember it, it's the same pattern. The equation method is very logical if you just remember how to translate the words into mathematical symbols. All right, thanks for watching and trying these problems. Thank <laughs> you.